quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing could be done hastily and prudently, Brother Barricade. So answers an apothecary.
quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing could be done hastily and prudently from the Arachnia. So answers an apothecary. Hey everybody, welcome back to Angry Badger Minis. So as you can see, I've been busting my butt getting some things done. Um, also, uh, all of the, the tactical marines for the Iron Warriors are completely done. And they're on the shelf along with all those cultists and whatnot. So that's uh, a total of 38, yeah, 38 Iron Warrior tactical marines, not including you know the Chaos Lord and the Chaos Sorcerer. Um, or Legion Sorcerer, whatever you want to call them. What I also made a decision about was I was never really happy about the Terminators, especially these right here, um, being in the Slanesh army. Oh, I'm sorry, not those. These back here. Sorry. Um, with the gray, uh, the gray heads right here. So, all I kept thinking about is why do my Iron Warriors need rhinos? Why wouldn't they be more, you know, of a spearhead force, you know, for siege? Like, you know, is what they are. And it occurred to me, we've got, you know, the 10 brand new version of uh, Terminators. I had these, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. And I got this little guy, you know, one of the very first Chaos Terminators ever. Um... He, nothing else will happen to him other than maybe some, you know, some different basing just because he's, like, special to me. 
Um, and then I got to looking at what I had, you know, available and left over. And I was like, well, dang, man, I'd really like to outfit this into, you know, full 10-man squads. And, uh, and I was able to do that by taking old Space Hulk, uh, I believe it's the second second edition Space or actually it wasn't Space Hulk, I guess they were just the second edition Terminators or third edition Terminators. Um, and then, you know, putting the extra weapons and stuff, you know, that I had. And now I have... 30. Now, I know those look a little janky compared to, you know, say these guys or even these guys, but I'm going to fix that tonight because all those blood letter parts and things like that I told you I was going to going to keep. And of course, you're probably looking at this guy going, "Well, dude, he's got the freaking, you know, he's got a damn Aquila or whatever, you know, on his chest and all that. Don't worry. All that's going to go away." Um, well, I'm not going to even bother scraping it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, you know, blood letter and I am going to cut the horns off to put on his uh, helmet like the other guys to a point. And then I'm going to take this, you know, I'm going to leave a little bit there. And I'm going to take the whole head and I'm going to put that right over the chest here as much as I can. Like that. It won't have all these horns, of course, but, you know, enough that... It chaoses up, chaoses it up a little bit, okay? So I think it's going to be pretty, pretty cool for such an old model, and to make it fit in relatively good. Also, we have other horns and spiky bits that are left over from the Slanesh. Um, what were they called? The fiends, okay? And those are going to get implemented. And then we've got all these stinking little skulls that have. Um, of course, I'm going to drop them. I'm probably going to drop them all night long. All these little skulls right here with sp spikes through them that I'm going to attempt to put on them in some fashion. They won't exactly look like all of these guys, but it'll help them blend in a little bit better. Um, some items of note. This, you, you may not, well, you may remember. So, back when I bought these Chaos Space Marines, let me set this guy off the side real quick. All I could ever get a hold of was the Reaper Auto Cannon guy. And I could never get a hold of, you know, 30 years later now it seems. How long have I been playing this game? 98, so 2008. Why can't I do math right now? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just do this. So, 2000. So. Anyway, I couldn't get a hold of the, the combi bolter that you see right here. This thing. This one, sorry. Um, until I got these like a little, you know, what, a month ago or something. So I just cut, I took the Reaper Auto Cannon, which is what, this is what it used to look like. And I just cut all the middle parts out and shortened it to become my makeshift storm bolter. Or combi bolter, sorry. Well, what I then did... Um, tonight, because I was like, dang, man, I need a heavy weapon for these Terminators. Well, lo and behold, toothpick action to repair it. Now, I've got some cleanup to do, and I'll worry about all that when I get down to the painting portion of all that stuff. Um, but, man, it's solid, and it works. And once it's painted up, you won't even notice. Nobody's going to care anyway. Um... So the, and then all we've got left as far as Terminators are concerned is I've got these two and they're both Terminator Lords or whatever um, that came from, where did these come from? I think they came from the Assassinorium box set. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and show you guys, let me pull this picture up real quick. My favorite book about the Iron Warriors is Storm of Iron. And this guy is on the cover. Now, that's the second book, or second cover, not the first cover. But he that is what I'm going to make. I'm going to have that guy, no helmet, he'll be like the only guy. But he is going to be my lord. Now, I, I won't have, obviously, uh, the 
Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see here. It's pretty close. Sorry, let me get that on the camera. I was looking at that. Um, yeah, it's close. Close enough, right? Anyway, I want him to be the Lord. The only issue is going to be, and then I'm, I'm probably going to make a uh, Sorcerer and Terminator armor, or I may make another Lord and Terminator armor and move him over to a different um, different uh, army, uh, Chaos Army, because I really don't need it. Um, and Iron Warriors only tolerate Sorcerers. So. Um, but the, the only difference is, and you'll notice this based off of how I have configured let me shrink this down for you. How I have configured their shoulders. So this shoulder pad right here will be where I do all of the stripes. Now, you know, it could, you know, and that's on every one of them. It would be the right shoulder pauldron um, for the Marine or left as you're looking at it. Now, I did extensive research. I mean, I'm not an Iron Warriors expert, but I found plenty, excluding Duncan Rhodes' painting video or whatever that he put out. I found plenty of stuff out there that shows that the um, hazard stripes were on the right shoulder pauldron and not the left. Um, and so I'm happy with that because the majority, as you can see, if you take a look at these old Terminators, I, I can't do anything about that. But the, the right shoulder pauldrons are all empty. So I can I can paint there, right? I mean the hazard stripes. Um, and if you look at this guy up here in the picture, he doesn't even have, um, you know, he doesn't even have uh, hazard stripes on his shoulders. So it's really a moot point for him. Um, but it gives me the general scheme. And then the other thing is, I always thought that when, when I looked at other people's Iron Wars, they were just too dark. And that's what I was struggling with, is why is this model so dark, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if you take a look at this one, and even the original artwork on the first book, which I have both of those books, uh, I mean, just because, <laughs> um, that's that's probably the tone I want to go. I think that will make them stand out better. It'll make you know the the highlights of gold and and the blacks and things like that all you know stand out better instead of going as dark as I did on the test models that I was doing. So anyway, that's um basically uh, what I'm what I'm gonna do with that guy. So. What, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do tonight, or working on this, is I'm going to go ahead and one get these completed Terminators out of the way, so they're not in my way and I can work. Um, oh, we're also not going to, um, yeah, we're not going to implement the Rhinos into this army. So, I mean, with 30 Terminators that can deep strike, blah blah blah, and another 30, you know. Um, Iron Warriors and two Land Raiders, which if you look right, oops, hold on. If you look right over here, you can see the, the two that I stripped that I got off of eBay. Um, and they just need to be repaired, put back together, easy day. And then this army will have two Land Raiders. Um, I also got rid of one Hellbrute and moved it to a different army. That way I could fit the other Terminator squad in for six elite choices. Um, and then we've got, we've still got some extra bits left over. So these bits right here that you see, this Reaper Auto Cannon and these two Heavy Flamers. For the Marines, there's a couple of Marines in here that, um, I mean, I don't know that I'll ever really use these. But of those Marines that I just put away... A couple of them, I barely put the the arm on, so I can pop it off and put a magnet in there. And so that way, if I wanted two five-man squads of those Terminators or something like that, I'll have the weapons, you know, to do so. And if you saw my short earlier today, um, you will have noticed all the the stuff that that'll end up being magnetized and things like that. And and a lot of that stuff will probably, you know, be in a different video closer to when we're ready to paint and stuff like that. But right now this army is playable 
and that's really all that matters in the long run. Um, that's that's the goal, is to get everything put together so that we can play with them if we want to. All right. And for the loadouts, just in case you're curious, um, on average, I think there's one difference between one of the squads versus the other two. On average, you've got two melta guns, a uh, combi meltas, two combi flamers. The each squad has a reaper auto cannon, and then one of the squads only has, or well, one squad has three flamers, and one squad only has one melta and a plasma combi plasma melta but I have to actually uh, make the the plasma part to put on there and that that's super simple all right so these are the guys we're going to be working on and I'm going to get these guys all a little more chaos up than they are so let me just give myself some workspace here and I'm going to bring this in a little bit and we get rid of the image and then we can see what we can see so this can wait we're going to work on the chest for or I'm sorry the face and the chest first so if I can find my tools here I need my sharp knife I need my clippers that I apparently set down somewhere <laughs> All right, and first things first, I'm going to get a measurement off of one of the smaller guys just to get an idea of how much we want. Okay, so that makes sense to me. But we need the thing is, we need a little bit of thickness. Um, so that we have something to work with. Now, if it doesn't look, you know, perfect when I'm done with this, that doesn't mean anything because I can always go back with green stuff or whatever. All right. Now everybody see see how I did that? Kind of, you know, plan that out so I could, you know, um, but what I'm going to do instead cuz I really don't I don't know if I like the curve on that yet. Let's see. Because I don't want it to get in the way of what, you know, his face. So, yeah, I don't like the curve. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut those horns off. Um, real low here. And my Iron Warriors, they, you know, like most Iron Warriors, are beholden to no one. So, it's not uncommon for them to kill demons just for the hell of it. That's what I would do. Anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Test bed number one. Actually, let's do a little dry fit real quick. Theoretically, this should work just fine. It's going to be finicky with my hands, though. I can see already. Yeah, that'll work. So, we've got this little bit of flashing or burr on there. That's what I wanted the sharp one for. So I can kind of make that flat-ish. Okay. Man, I'm so spoiled now. I've, I've been working on the game room and getting you know getting the lighting great for painting and everything else and then I come back to these lights and I'm like ah what the heck can't hardly see this is gonna be a finicky process to say the least These terminators here are easily 20 years old. I 
And so them getting a, a retro upgrade is, they're probably happy about that, I would say. They're probably, well, I don't know. I mean, we could say they're not happy that they went to the, to, you know, to support Chaos, but since they never got played with and all that, they might just be angry enough at me that they're happy they're with Chaos. All right. Well, I want to really want to slide that over a little bit more. Just like right there, but it's turning in my hand. So this is going to be an interesting process to say the least. It's a little too high. Slide down some, bud. Angle down. There we go. Yeah. So you guys see what I'm what I'm trying to accomplish here, right? And it's you know, all of that can be filled in with green stuff if it's warranted. It may not even be, it may not even be worth it, you know, or needed. We'll just see as we get around to it. But I think they're going to turn out just fine. They'll blend in better and or fit in better. And I mean, honestly, I don't even know what I would have used these guys for. They would have just sat in a bag the whole time like they have been for 20 years. When I could just, you know, do what we're doing and have fun with it. Of course, I'm trying to glue a couple different types of plastic together. and not to my fingers. And I hope and pray that this does not end up on the floor. Because if it does, it's gonna be hard to find it. And I have a, a, a limited number of these, um, these blood letter heads. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That changed, changed his whole look just by putting those horns on. If you put him next to, you know, any of these other guys, looks pretty similar. Make it a lot more pleasant to look at. And, all, and of course, when we paint all the focus, you know, OSL, etc. will be on the head, not his legs and things like that. You know, it'll be darker down there. Okay, so we want to get this on here. Now, I thought about also instead putting these uh, demon heads, since they're flat, on the flat part here, but I thought it might they might look good if we had it some of them that had the hazard stripes on both sides 
and I don't want to see those wings, honestly. Um, I know I could scrape them off, but I really don't want to go through the trouble of that. Actually, I think I have a better idea. Because it's the whole reason I even broke them out. I didn't even say anything to you guys. So we've got these skulls here. All kinds of skulls. Maybe we could use like an orc head or something instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I have more. It's not. That's not an issue. Oh, I said I have a finite number of these. I'm, I'm a liar. Look at this. I forgot. I have all these skulls, and I have multiple boxes of the skulls. Okay. So let's see here. Um, I think we're gonna go with these orc heads. I like that. The ones with the mouth open. I mean. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Talks See underscore this will SHT. Work on his chest. Sup. I'm not entirely sure how that would look. Uh, nope. Because the head is round. But if we cut that off, this is why we need the sharp knife. Cut it off right behind the jaw. Midwest. Right, What's work. up, man? To to do this is me. Midwest Auto had to create it. a new account because my old phone broke and I couldn't log back. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I had it turned down a little bit. How's it going? You guys there? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. I'm building some Indomitus Terminators for my Dark Angels. Right on. The uh. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the voice doesn't like your name apparently. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talk underscore S or talks underscore SHT. That's funny. Oh, of course. I told you it was going to fall. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. LOL. Hold on, guys. I got to find this. Of course, it hit the floor. Let's see. I'm doing okay. Just painting some TAU what am I warmer buddies is 3D printing me some Black Templar Terminator and I will have them by Wednesday. Oh wow. That's cool. Mick Dundee. Finished a squad of sword brethren. Nice. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Oh nice. All right, found it. <laughs> God. Uh, gotta love it. I think this is going to work. And fellow Templar, I salute you. Yeah. What do you guys think? Think that'll work? Oop. Or do you like the demon head on there better, even though it's larger? Midwees. Looks cool from my end. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Yeah. Demon head or orc? What's the vote? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Could always add some green stuff to cover it up. Yeah, I know. Mick Dundee. There is only the Black Templars, all else is heresy. <laughs> uh. 
Well, the Black Templars needed the Imperial Midnight. Fists, apparently. In exactly. The... Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Or if you have any extra Cataphracti E. Schuler plates or Cataphron's armor plates. The Black Templars had to call in aid from the Imperial Fist during this Nephilim conflict for whatever reason. Midwees. I am also getting a fourth army soon. Only a fourth? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. I find that the Cataphron's shoulder plates fit very nicely over the front of Indomitus Terminators. Well, this Terminator is probably older than some of you guys. I don't know if that's going to work. Midwees. Yes, I will have the Space Dwarf. Oh. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Would be very appropriate too for Iron Warriors. Some extra armor plating. Yeah. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. It does. I don't know. I'm just trying to make them look a little more. Oh man. Shoot. I guess that wasn't dry. I was just trying to reinforce the glue there, but apparently it wasn't dry. Midwees. I'm also planning on getting the Horus Heresy box and making Imperial Fist. Hmm. Come on, work with me here. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. I have an old ass metal space wolves wolf guard terminator I converted to be a dark angels terminator by gluing some cataphracti e tassels and a cataphron's armor plate over the front of his torso. Yeah, I don't like that orc skull. The more I got to look at it. Oh, come on. But I don't particularly mind Midwees. this bloodletter skull. That sounds complicated. Yeah, it still looks like it's just too much. I'm going to have to figure something else out here. Either scrape it off or... Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Let me see here. And some cataphracti e shoulder plates and tassels on the shoulders to cover some Space Wolf's iconography. Well, Lemon underscore these Russ are underscore Space Tox Wolf shoulder underscore pads. SHT. It really isn't. These are Space Wolf shoulder, uh, Terminator shoulder pads. For all these guys, I just cut off like you know some of the space wolf stuff. What is it? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. It's just taking some extra bits and gluing them over unwanted oh, yeah. iconography. Yeah, I know. Midwees. Then again, I did my first kid bash model. I think I'm just I'm I was trying to rush that too much is what was going on there. So I think what I'm gonna do now. As instead of that, as I'm, I don't know. I wonder if I can thin this this uh, demon head down and make him fit on the shoulder pad and not stick up too far. If I can't, that's no no loss. I'm not really concerned about it. But it'd be cool if I could. Mm, 
Nah, it just sticks up too much. That's alright. It was an idea. I don't really like it though. Alright, but I do like the horn idea. I mean, it's that's that's working out like a charm to make these guys blend in as Chaos Terminators for as old as they are. Cool. And I don't I don't really need the demon heads anyway. I wonder how many times I might have actually thought about throwing these guys in the trash <laughs> because of how old they were and not being used just sitting in a bag annoying Now they have new life as they fight against the Emperor. Stinking traitors! Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT that would have been so heretical even Slanish and Nurgle would be disgusted by that choice of action. What, throwing them away or doing this? <laughs> Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT throwing them away yeah I hear you well I have even more of these guys believe it or not next to my Deathwing army this will probably be well and maybe the salamanders I don't know this will probably be the well space wolves too but I think this will probably be one of the, the, he the most Terminator heavy armies that I possess. But I'm, I'm liking how it's turning out. 30 Terminators, 38 Iron Warriors, 2 Land Raiders, 3 Hell Brutes, a Chaos Imperial Knight, uh, Lord Sorcerer, Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor. Yeah, it's going to be good. I can see they'll be fighting my Krieg Death Corps a lot let alone my salamanders yeah, this is working out well they def that those tusks definitely just kinda make them blend right in I mean it's it's great This guy, these sergeants might be a challenge though to get the tusk in there. Mm. Sergeant heads, I mean. Guess we'll find out. Yep, pretty cool, man. A model this old, getting new life to it.
trying to twist this right now without ripping it off of there. Now I need to move it down. And I ripped it off. <laughs> This is why I never throw any bits away, ever. No matter what it is. Yeah, this guy's axe is gonna be in my way, I think. Well, I guess not. Or we got lucky. It's probably luck. Or the Chaos Gods. One of the two. Nope, there's four out of eight that are done. I mean, as far as her face goes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll still save all these heads over here um, so I can use them for like, you know, vehicle decoration or heads on the ground, things like that. So I'm trying my old trick of letting the glue sit for a little bit so that way when I come to put something on it it's a little tacky as you guys can see it's making things a little bit easier it doesn't always work but I'd say 60% of the time it works every time <laughs> for those of you that get that reference That literally makes no sense. See, told you, 60% of the time it works. This is not one of those times. Or, well, maybe a little bit.
Hmm. Like it here. I didn't put enough on, or it took too long, or something. I'm going to pull one of these other ones off because those horns are massive. It's not really, I know it doesn't need to match, but it needs to be somewhat close for these guys anyway. fingernails so oh my God. <laughs> come on So what are all you guys working on right now? Or are you working on anything? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Building termies. Right on. Looks like we both had the same idea. Oh, back's getting sore. I've been building for hours, probably most of the day actually. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Lucky. Well, I guess that depends on how you look Lemon at it. Underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Had to do fucking schoolwork most of today. Yeah, well, this is technically our first week of school for this term or the last part of this year, or, you know, this year. And, um,. I was told by advise, academic advising that it started last week. So I was jumping through hoops trying to get stuff done. Come to find out we started this week, so I was a little bit ahead of the program. So that worked. Worked out. And then 
I say it depends on how you look at it because lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT Oof. yeah then I say it depends on how you look at it because you know we have a small family business here and we're, I mean the way the economy is things like that you know sometimes you just don't get any customers or whatever and it's not like a mat you know it's not like we own a store or anything like that we just it's just a dog kennel thing and then the shooting range and if the weather's bad or nobody's going anywhere and things like that I mean well then there's nothing there's nothing happening here so So between models and finally, after almost six years of being here, throwing out stuff that the previous owners left, I've been fairly busy. Three pickup truck loads so far, if that tells you anything. Probably have about four more to go. And I'll let that sit. Ugh. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Dang. All right, let's go back. Add a little more glue, strengthen these up some. Yeah, that's going to make them blend in real nice. I would say that I know I have some more of these kind and if I run across them I'll probably do the same well I guess I don't really have any more of these weapons but I may do something you know in line for Space Hulk or something I don't know God I love Space Hulk <laughs> and it's crazy too because ah just broke that off um, I didn't know anything about Space Hulk when I first got started. That didn't come till I don't know, a few years later. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Oof. Yeah, that, that's the joy of the hobby, isn't it? But by the time I'm done, they'll be solid. Had a little bit of uh, skin cell. That usually seems to work 60% of the time. Works every time. point stuck into my finger. There's always one. <laughs> uh, 
This guy's determined to piss me off. Yet the, the tusk on the other side is like glued firmly because I just scraped it with my finger and it didn't even budge. It actually like reverberated like a freaking tuning fork. You son of a bitch. Come on, man, just work with me here. Just want you to drop down in here. out of me. Alright, I'm gonna let this dude sit for a bit. I try to <clears throat> ascertain my next move. So we've got all these skulls with the pikes on them. I guess we could potentially just let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Of course it would be odd. Alright, so would be two per doesn't seem like a lot but then we've got these that we can put on them one two three four five six seven eight so if we did something one two three four five Six, seven, eight. Nine, I guess. Possibly ten. If we did something, or maybe we just had like one or two like one on one side and a, a skull or something, a couple skulls on the other, that could potentially work. Or make them a little bit different where instead of on the, the edges here, we just go ahead and put this bad boy right in the center. But that makes it look more nurgle. I don't know, I don't want that. I'm starting to think these horns aren't going to work because of the nurgle like facet but let me see here hmm gotta think on that one not sure about that I mean I can get a bunch of toothpicks and make you know stuff that goes down and it just looks like spiky bits like spikes all the way down not like actual you know model spikes that look good let's see
Yeah, I'm not sure. I need to let these dry anyway a little bit. You know, that's pretty solid. We'll work with this guy. Set these dudes back some. All right. Since you seem to be pretty solid on the tooth, I don't have, feel like I have to worry about breaking you off. Maybe it's the way that it that it lies. It puts the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. It's like the lotion in the basket. look too much like gross to me and I don't want my arm wars don't want any mutations I guess it was a good idea at the beginning but I'm gonna have to think on that alright so let's see what we got here we got some skulls Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It'll look even better painted up when it's painted up. Let's shift this thing around though. I don't want it just hanging over like that. I want it kind of off to the side. Actually, that looks better. What else we got here? Another open skull. We got any that are closed mouth? What's this one? Oh, this one, the thing's going right through its mouth. <laughs> I don't know if it can come out on there or not. Yep, that's good. Not exactly sure where I got these, to be honest. Oh, yeah, man. That's not looking decent for such an old model. I don't know what would. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Oh, nice. Just trying to play with the angle. I didn't like didn't like the angle that much. I also didn't realize that the pike was straight through like that, so I had it leaning over when it shouldn't have been. 
Should have been standing up. Yeah, like that. Now that I know that, oh man, of course I dropped it on the floor. Now that I know that that's a pike there, I want it, I want the skull kind of leaning out. Not straight up and down. Yeah, that's a lot better. Turn it a little bit where you can see the face. I just don't want the eyes to be drawn to the skulls first. And of course a big part of that will be how I paint it. But Let that sit over there. Hopefully I don't end up with two of the same skull on 
the same Terminator. Won't be able to do that once these are glued on because chances are I'd snap it off. I mean, depends on how well I'm able to glue them on and get them, you know, re glued or whatever. I went out of order there. Should have. Put this one on first. And the one thing I'll have to do, I'm not going to obviously do it tonight or anything, but inside here. If you notice, there's a gap because, well, maybe not on these, but there's a gap on all of the old arms and stuff, and even on the metal ones that are over here. Um, I'll be putting in the green stuff like I did here with the ribbing and stuff like that, so that way, you know, it's all, it all matches and everything. It's not just a gap. It takes like, you know, five minutes per model maybe. I just don't have any green stuff up here at the moment. It's all downstairs. In the basement, also known as the dungeon.
Look who it is, my nemesis. Come on, man. Like these two, like that one. Okay, so yeah. Well, I really like the one where it's going through the mouth and the tilted one, but mm, that's all right. It'll be fine. I'll just switch up the sides. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Just built a Primus Medici slash Deathwing Apothecary. Nice. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. By slicing the skulls off the Crux Terminatus for two left shoulder plates, using a chain fist and storm bolter and adding two servo arms from some admech kits. I have the one from the command squad. The the Deathwing Command Squad or whatever the heck it's called. So I, I didn't have to do all that and then I have another one. That's an apothecary that um, is in my Death Watch kill team, if you will, for Space Hulk. Alright, last one. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Yet I don't have any legit Narthesiums. Hey, it doesn't matter, man. If it works, it works. If you're playing with an opponent that's that anal about it, probably shouldn't be playing with them. Not saying Lemon you are. Lemon underscore but. Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. But now I have a Termi Apothecary that can also be a Primus Medici. Absolutely. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Yup.
Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to... Get that flashing off. Mick Dundee. Mick underscore Dundee underscore 888. What's that, Mick? Let them sit there and cure so we can go back and hit them with another set of glue. Mick Dundee, not brilliant but good enough for me. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the Mick underscore Dundee 888 and I don't understand not brilliant but good enough for me. What do you mean? Mick Dundee, INSTagram. Oh, Instagram. Let me look that up real quick. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but let's see here. I've never really done it on a computer, so... There he is, with the tree. I'm following you now. Oh, wow, man. For the God Emperor. <laughs> nice. I love that. Um, oh gosh, what's it, what kind of dreadnought is that? The Primaris dreadnought, uh, Redemptor dreadnought. I've got two that are in a box that I haven't put together yet. I haven't put any Primaris together except for a couple of small ones. Grimaldus. Hold on. This is what I'm looking at. Makes awesome work here. Mick Dundee. Red Dread Love Them I Have Three. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. So let me start over. Whoops. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Nice. Yep, absolutely nice. I love the different. Uh, Lemon underscore. I love Russ the red mixed with everything. SHT. Dark Angels or Black Templars? Black Templars, man. These are Black Templars. What is that? That is Homebrew Chapter, a successor to the Imperial Fist, and closely aligned to the Black Templars, the Orc, Orc Venatores, the Orc Hunters. They are on their own crusade to rid this world of the filth that is the Orc, 
Solus Bonus Orc, Este Mortaris Orc. The only good orc is a dead orc. Nice. Sorry, I forgot to like all these. Oh yeah, Reavers. Nice, that chaplain on a bike's legit. You're like me, you like having multiple chaplains. <laughs> That's a chaplain too, isn't it? That's a lot of chain, brother. But it ain't going nowhere. I'll be doing something similar with chain on the uh, these two um, land raiders that'll be going to my iron warriors. The chain actually that I have, I don't know if it's the same as yours. Yours looks a little larger, maybe than mine. Um, let's see here. This is, of course, it did. Hold on, let me get this thing out. So yours, I don't know, mine is, uh, what is that? 228.6 centimeters. Oh wait, no, 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 that's how long it is. Um, I was trying to see if there was something that told me how wide, but I guess to, for, to get a, an idea, I think mine is slightly smaller than yours. And it's a lot more in line with, you know, I guess how most chains are for the for 40k, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll be using that stuff at some point. Oh man, dude, I love Dreadnoughts and the Redemptor Dreadnought is legit. I didn't know they made decals with all that stuff on there. That's interesting. Heck yeah, man. Dude, this is great. This is some good stuff. Oh, you're missing a weapon or something. Or do you, like, do magnetization or just slip it in? Legit. So, have you varnished these at all? Because I'm looking at this where it's kind of the paint's come off. Same in the back back here. McDuntie. No. Well, you might want to um, just because your fingers do that. You know, oils on your fingers. It'll mess up your paint job over time as well. And if you get any dust on it and stuff like that, um, that will, you know, taint the paint as well. And then you have to try to dust it off, and then you end up scrape, scratching the paint with minute scratches. That's gonna, you know, change things. If you like matte, I would get some matte varnish. I love this model. I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. It's a lot of skulls, boy. You got those out of skull box, I can tell. <laughs> Did I not? Yeah. 
getting wrapped up in your painting and forgetting to like the damn picture. So you did a hard a hard line for your weathering, it looks like. Unless I'm mistaken. Um, some dry brushing would have helped you out really well. Like that right there tells me it was a hard line. I'm not trying to critique your stuff, I'm just trying to help you out. Okay, what in the world is this va vase vase thing going on here? What is this? And then you got a cup inside. Is this your teleporter? <laughs> Aggressors, nice. Vallejo pigments. This model just does not get old for me. Oh yeah. I can't wait to paint my Black Templar. Well, I can't wait to paint everything. Oh man, that's gorgeous, dude. Great job. What the fuck? Is that what I think it is? Some of these are from when I first started and then I've gone back and reworked them. Nice. Is that is that pistol grip? I mean pistol grip. Is that uh is that case on the back there? Is that a magazine pouch or a freaking that thing's massive. What the hell is that? That right there. Looks like there might be a pistol in there. Must be a massive pistol. This threw me off right here, this hand. I was like, what the hell is wrong with his hand? And then I realized it's on a chain. <laughs> Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Heavy bolt pistol holster. Got it. Mick Dundee. Pistol. What's this back here? Is this a backdrop that you painted? Like, kind of like just a, a mural behind her? That's some other picture. Very nice. So you opted, I guess with these banners I meant to say this earlier you opted just to go with like a gold or bronze or copper or whatever you want to call this a metal versus painting it like the you know an actual body that's up there just a painting on the wall okay oh yeah terminators for days Oh yeah, that's nice, really nice. That's the heavy bolt pistol, I guess. I don't know much about Primaris, I got a ton of them, but they're not put together, obviously. You should you should uh, thin down some black, man. Um, like really thin it down or unless you got an ink or a wash or something and hit that hit those chest eagles with that and let it get in the recesses and then go back and very lightly hit just the top of each wing I'm sorry each feather but that's really nice oh yeah 
Wait, whoa. Uh, well, who is that guy right there? What is that on his back? Looks like some kind of jump pack dude, but it went too fast. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that's a term Was that a Terminator back there with a Cyclone missile launcher on it? Maybe. I don't know. Very nice. Yeah, that guy right there. It's not a Terminator. It's a jump pad guy, I think. He's got something on his back. I don't know. It's going too fast for me. Very nice. Hey, Ikea Detoff. I have 15 of those things. <laughs> uh, they are a pain in the ass to put together, though. But they're worth it. You gotta get you, uh, I'm gonna be doing a Mr. short D. on it. Vanguard Vets. Okay. I'm gonna be doing a short video, like a, a YouTube short, when I get a chance. Um when my other stuff comes in so I can finish doing it but they make if you get like a oh gosh what is it called anyway there's a there's a thing that you can put around your entire case basically most of it anyway uh, that has little hairs on it or whatever and it keeps the dust out or a, a big portion of it Oops. Very nice. Unfortunately for me, when all of my stuff will be painted, when it's painted, it's just going to look like a giant color blob because I have so many crammed in there. Especially the orcs, that's going to be interesting. Very nice. You should get yourself some of the uh, micro seal for things like this. Um, that way your decals don't cover things like that up I mean if you care I mean if you don't then don't worry about it but it will it will help with you know the edges making things softer and then what you could also do is go back over it like see how this is kind of uh, pale go back over it with the black paint you know um, at least feather it in you know from the the edge here I love this apothecary model, but for me, I'll have the helmet on. I only have one of these. I'm just not into the non-helmet look. I'm, I'm going to do it for the these guys for the one commander, but that's just in reverence to the book. Oh, God damn it. I did it again. That's really nice. What the hell? Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, Alright, I think we're semi good, so I'm going to go back and put a little bit more glue on these. Try to, to 
just give him a little more strength. I'm doing that by putting it up on the stalk or the pot. Oh my gosh, I guess that one wasn't done or didn't have enough. Anyway, putting it on the stalk or the pike and then. Mick Dundee. I cringe looking at the early stuff. Ah. So, was that you that asked me if I keep any of my old stuff around? Like older stuff that I painted? So. I can't remember, but I do. I have them in a box, and uh, I'll try to remember next time I'm online to, to show you guys. Um, some of my stuff is out there. Like, I can't get on Instagram, but you guys can't. I mean, Instagram. I can't get on Twitter, but you guys can. And if you look up Angry Badger Minis on there, you can see some of my stuff. Uh, if you look up my Instagram, there might be a few things. Not a lot. Mostly just me I mean, I started the Instagram on this adventure of putting all my models together, so it's not really about uh, painting on the Instagram portion yet. But I will. Oh man, are you serious right now? This whole time, Mick Dundee. I haven't seen anything you've painted yet. Go to Twitter. And look up Angry Badger Minis. And you'll see the first picture is a, a hive tyrant that I did. That no longer looks like that because I stripped all the paint off. <laughs> um, I actually stri stripped that entire army. and Because um, it was old. And I wanted to start over with the painting to match all the new, new Tyranids and stuff like that. Um, but there's some other smaller stuff in there. I was too gentle with some of these. Didn't put enough enough glue. Yeah, these guys turn have turned out pretty decent for for what they are right now for blending in. I'm pretty happy. Just thankful that I had the bits to do it. one one skull on a pike left I don't know what I want to do with it but I don't want to put it on anybody my OCD will kick in and then that'll be all she wrote all right while these guys dry I am gonna start trying to put together one of these chaos terminator lords for this army I still have to put the warp, warp smith. Yeah, warp smith together. The friggin, unfortunately, the Citadel fine Lemon cast. underscore Russ underscore talks underscore sht. What's that? The tyrant. He's okay. That was painted. When was that painted? Back in two thousand eight. 2009, something like that. Mick Dundee, had a look at your Twitter that Tyranid is excellent. Thank you. Well, like I said, he no longer exists, so. <laughs> I mean, he exists, but the, the paint is all stripped off now. Uh, 
And that was mostly all dry brushing because that was the thing back then. I'm assuming a Chaos Terminator Lord is on a 40 millimeter base, Nick correct? Dundee. Is see you don't like commie leftists, H A ha ha. <laughs> Not when they're assholes, no. And that's that's basically why I'm. I mean, I'm. I say I'm banned. I'm suspended off of Twitter because I refuse to delete that. They got Nick mad, Russ reported me, and talks underscore you know, S H T. Probably. Probably what? I can get along with anybody, dude, but when you start Run running your mouth... Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Base. Oh. When you, uh... You start running your mouth about shit you don't even know what you're talking about and try to come hard. Well, we could play that game. You'll lose, but, you know. And that chick, you know. I mean, that's the thing, you know. She reported me. Even though she's the one that started it with all of her nonsense and racist nonsense. You know. But, you know, and that's how Twitter was, you know, it's whoever could report who first, and I wasn't really in the habit of reporting anybody, I never, I don't even recall ever doing anything like that. Um, but, you know, whatever. Twitter doesn't control my life, and now that Elon Musk has bought it, I mean, who knows, maybe I'll be unsuspended. So I'm basically putting this together, um... without instructions so there's that all right we want that shoulder pad and we'll bring that picture back up and this is the this is basically what I want this guy to look like when I'm done except I don't have that gun which sucks, but it's okay. Um, Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. One of the best ways to achieve a unique miniature. What's that? Dry brushing? Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Oh yeah. Go without looking at instructions and go for rule of cool. For sure. Let's see here. I think this is close and closer to him. Pretty sure he's not wearing a cloak, so I don't need that. Um, I don't have that claw, but this one looks like he's pointing. So that's kind of what I'm doing with that one as well. The only thing that stinks about it, though, I just realized this, is that I won't be able to... Well, if I got my Dremel on that, I could probably get that stupid face off of there hold on you could probably get that off of there and then I would be able to put the lines on it would just take some serious sanding and t patience that way I don't you know gouge it but I can do it I know I can do it Let's see here. I'm going to save stuff like this with the Dark Angel's helmet or whatever for the Land Raider and stuff, I think. Uh, need this part. I need to find out if this guy goes on a 40 millimeter base or not. I think so, but I'm not entirely positive. 
And what am I going to do with this little weird guy here? He's holding a sword or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this idiot. I might save him for something else. My, my Iron Warriors, they abhor the mutant, the alien, the demon, everybody. In my opinion. Let's see, we need this shoulder pad. And I think we'll wait on these horn things over here. Yeah. Alright. Now the question is. Do I turn around and cut this blade off? Because then the, then the gun kind of looks like what he has. I'd have to cut the blade off and I'd have to cut the skull off. I don't really dig that skull anyway. Um, that's going to be a lot of... He's got a chain that comes from here down... Which I can definitely do. It's a big damn chain too. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this off. Everybody's holding their breath. <laughs> cut that off and we'll trim it out. I'm going to do something else, guys, as well. Um, it's going to seem kind of weird, I guess. But So my dad and I used to ride motorcycles together all the time um, before he was killed. And it wasn't a motorcycle accident. Um, and I was cleaning up the game room and, you know, just thinking about it and stuff. And I'm going to take a Space Marine bike and find a, a model and do something, you know, where it's my dad on the bike. Got little horns on there, but I don't have that kind of. Well, we might have something we could do that with. No. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. That's cool. Mick Dundee. That's cool. Thanks, guys. Yes, I'll be drilling out the gun barrels, I promise. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to do that right now. Mick Dundee. 
I've only just started doing that. Been going back over them all. Oh, believe me. <laughs> I, I've only done it to probably two models out of all of the models that I've put together. So, basically what's going to happen is when I'm ready to start painting, as I pull the model off the shelf, it'll get a once over to, you know, look for flashing and stuff like that. And then it'll be gun barrel time before I ever get to the point of, you know, priming it. And you don't have to go deep. That's the thing. A lot I've seen a lot of people just mess that up by, you know, I don't know why they feel like they got to do that. All you got to do is just do enough to give the indentation. You know what I mean? That's all you got to do. You don't have to, like, drill in there. I mean, unless you want to, I guess. He's got different kinds of barrels than I do, but I can't do anything about that. Like his old gun's different, but it's not really anything I can do. At least the face on the side works. <laughs> oh, so that's what that is. It's not. So he's got a, a horn that comes out of the head here that goes up, and then there's another. Wait a minute. No, that can't be right. Let me enlarge this. Mick Dundee. Yeah, that's all I do. One of the first I did went too deep and came out the side. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. But it's it's not that you can't repair it. I mean, you can you could literally super glue over that, fill it all in, and then re-tap it. You know what I mean? Let's see. So that's some kind of horn. Lemon skull. underscore Russ underscore talks underscore S H T. Oof. Let me see, do we have something like that in here? I don't know. That's a pretty small skull. I don't think there's one of those in here. Um. Mick Dundee just left it as battle damage. Yeah. Called a squib load and it blew up the barrel. Okay. Don't see. Just looking at sprues here, guys. See if I can find anything that might could work. No, it's not the right way. Oh, that stinks. It's more corn stuff here. I was thinking about taking these two demon prince heads that I'm not going to use. And, um, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. And mounting them on the land raiders for this army, like, trophies but I don't know I can't seem to make it right in my head that that's what I want to do wait a minute here's a couple of things I could use for horns but I'm just not finding what I need I have sprues all over the place right now. Well, I'm not going to find that apparently. 
So I'm going to use one of these talons or whatever from a raptor that I didn't use. And if I happen to come across something later on, I'll just break this off. But basically, I'm going to mount that on there like so. Oh. Of course you did. But I think I'm going to do it without the majority of the, the backing here. Just so it, well, let's see. Oh, my little girl's crying again. Yeah, I'm going to try to cut that off if I can. In the process, I'm probably going to end up having the feet being separate of each other. Nope, I was able to pull it off. Nice. So they are still together. Awesome. Come on. Of course, by the time I get through dropping them and handling them, they probably won't be. A little girl is teething, so she's having some rough nights. Alright, so we need to cut that piece off. But, yeah, that's not going to work either. I'm going to have to find something else down the road. This is delaying me way too long. I want to get stuff built here. I don't want to sit here and screw around. Alright, what we got here? Where's his legs? goes here um, why is that not sitting flush that's awfully weird doesn't make any sense. And there it goes. What's interesting is his leg, his right leg is exactly, well, I say exactly, it's similar to what's in the, the um, picture. Wait a minute, he's missing something here. It can't be how his leg is, what? There's like a whole piece of his leg missing, some kind of thigh pad or something. see anything like that. Maybe not. Maybe it's just that robotic. Or... Hmm. Well, I guess it works. Hmm. Alright. Put this to 
together. I can guarantee you they'll, I'll never get to play this army in any of the local game stores. No one's ever going to want to face 30 Terminators. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Damn. What? They're not going to want to face 30 Iron Warrior Terminators, I know that. Alright, so this fist, not what we need. Let me see how the other one was. Oh, the other one wasn't a fist, it was just a lightning claw. That sucks. So basically, now maybe I'll revisit that later. I don't have the stuff with me right now to cut this off and then reposition it. And I don't want to ruin the model for the sake of being fast. Where's his head that I saved? That's not the one. That's the one. Pretty close. That's not too bad, I don't think. His arms McDundee. not as bent, but after I had been painting a few months, I started to do my highlighting and weathering by stippling. Do you stipple with a sponge or what? McDundee. Yes, small sponge cutoffs. Alright. Somebody tell me what you think that is. 
my first reaction was a set of orc balls. <laughs> but then I was thinking to myself, well, orcs don't reproduce that way. <laughs> uh. Lemon underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. A broken wagon wheel. No, 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 no. What's on the wagon Lemon wheel? underscore Russ underscore Tox underscore SHT. Could be a heart or organ. Well, that's not what I thought. <laughs> Of that, I can assure you. And this guy's um, trophy Lemon rack is huge. Russ underscore tox underscore SHT. Could say it's a progenoid gland he looted. Well, there's quite a few of them. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, with all of the. There's various guys here with Space Marine helmets on their, um, you know, on their trophy racks. I think I'm going to make all of the Space Marine helmets either Salamanders or Imperial Fists. Or both. I'm not going to do, like, Ultramarines and all that kind of stuff. And I think I have a plan for my Ultramarines army. I, I didn't really want a blue, ar blue army. I think I'm going to do something white. Maybe like a successor chapter or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Got so many damn marines. It's crazy. That's not the one. I really don't want to put that on there. Insist on Exactly what I was afraid of. Yeah, every one of these is not fit correctly with the trophy rack above it. And I've had to just kind of sort of deal with it. It's just not, it's not very nice, put it that way.
feel like cutting some of this crap off. Now we I'm assuming he's on a forty millimeter base. I can't imagine he would be on anything bigger. But I'm gonna check. Let's see, Wahapedia. Chaos Lord and Terminator Armor, 40 millimeter base. Yep. And we're gonna put this on there. Nick Dundee, do you play at all still? Well, I mean, the most that I've played is on um, Tabletop Simulator because I don't have anybody to play with right now. Um, and then, of course, I did the one battle report trying that out uh, where I think I made a video. I think it was a video, not a, like, it wasn't live. It was like one of my earliest videos, I think. But that's the, that's the goal is to paint, I mean, I'm sorry, to play, not to, alright, what am I doing here? sure that's how he goes on there but oh, that's how he goes on Mick Dundee you don't have a local warmer community not really most of the uh, college kids around and stuff like that they are um, they're into magic the gathering and well really D&D &D mostly and um, I think it's just the price is just too much and then the one store I know that's about an hour away from me, that's exactly what the the owner told me. He said that almost everybody's, you know, playing Blood Bowl or something really small and D and D. So, no, I mean, I don't, unfortunately. I mean, I've got a friend that wouldn't mind playing. You know, if he has time to drive here, he lives in Roanoke, but. Yeah, that's not too bad, guys. What do you think? I mean, it's not perfect, but... Pretty close, maybe, for what it is. I think that's good enough for a Chaos Lord and Terminator armor. Looking pretty stellar. Lemon underscore Russ underscore talks underscore SHT. Looks pretty good. Mick mm. Dundee. Looks good. I think I'm gonna have to move the the base backwards though. So it takes up more of the base so it's not sticking out too much in the shelf.
Right on, right on. Whoops. Cool. Well, all we have left now is to put these two bad boys right here. Oops, sorry. These two Land Raiders back together. Now that all the paint is stripped off, repair them. Put the uh, Chaos Knight together. And the warp smith and then that's that's it for this army and then we move on to um thousand suns and when thousand suns are done we are done with all should be all my chaos anything chaos um, with dundee it's monday afternoon here 320 gotta make something for the kids to eat yeah, I'm getting ready to roll anyway, so just wanted to say thank you guys and let you know what was going on. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the shorts too. So we'll we'll catch you guys next time. And for those of you that made it this far that are new to the channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys.